Good morning. It is day seven of my Camino, which means it's been a week. I cannot believe I have been out here a week already. Super happy with how things have been going aside from this blister, but that's a minor issue. Just really having a great time and hoping it continues like this. Today I'm going from Navarrete to Najera, about 16-ish kilometers, so a little bit easy day, which is good. And then tomorrow I have a rest day, a day completely off, which I scheduled to be a week in like this, just to kind of reassess where I am, give my body a break, buy some things that I need, that kind of thing. So I just need to get through today, and then I have a day off, which also means sleeping in. I am not a morning person, so all this getting up before 7 has been difficult for me, which I know for some people is not early at all. Um, but for me it is. So let's get started on what hopefully is another great day. So it's about 8 a.m. I've been walking for maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'm out in the countryside again. Vineyards. This is the Rioja region, so there's lots of vineyards around here for Rioja wine, which you might have had. It's a red wine. It's a little cooler out than I thought it was gonna be when I looked at the temperature, but that's all right. Cool is good for walking. You don't get too overheated then. Oh, there is a part of me that is really looking forward to some warmer temperatures. I'd love to see the 70s. Low 70s, not higher than that. But I'm ready for some warmer weather. Keep going. This couple ahead of me, they passed me and asked if I wanted a sandwich. And they said the place they stayed last night in Navarrete gave them sandwiches and they each took sandwiches thinking they were getting it for themselves and the other person. So they had too many sandwiches, so they gave me a sandwich, which is awesome because I haven't eaten anything yet. So I will be eating that sandwich along the way today, but just part of the Camino spirit. I love it. This landscape is just so beautiful. The only thing that would make it better is if there wasn't a factory back behind my left shoulder making some noise, but look at this. The pictures probably don't do it justice, but maybe you get at least a sense of what it looks like out here. It's about 9.30. We've walked about six-ish kilometers, six, seven kilometers. Stop here for some breakfast and then on to a 10 kilometer stretch without a town to get to the final destination today of Nahira. Anyone tired of seeing vineyards yet? Not me. They're just so beautiful. And the view changes every few steps, it seems like. I just love it. There's Nahera, about two miles from getting there. And I just saw a bench. So I'm gonna stop and have a little break. My right foot is really bothering me. It was really good at the beginning of the day, but now it's really hurting. So I think taking a break here before the last couple of miles is a good choice. I think that break was just what I needed. I sat down, I ate my sandwich. I took my shoes and socks off to let my feet kind of stretch a little bit. And now walking again, they already feel a whole lot better. So I need to remember to take breaks when I'm struggling and not try to push through because that can just end up making things look worse in the end. So good choice on my part. 
Well, this answers a question I've been having in my mind as to whether it was Nahira or Nahera. And I see here there's an accent on the A, so it's Nahera. I think I've been saying Nahera more times, so I will remember now it's Nahera. It's a little after 1230. I am just coming into the city center for Nahera. Been walking through the suburbs for, for quite a while. I'm not sure how long, but I'll go find my lodging for today and then find lunch. This is my room for the next two nights. It's just a room, it doesn't have a private bathroom. I share a bathroom with just one other apartment, so at most two other people, so that's fine. It was only 35 euros per night, so I think that's pretty good. And it looks over this patio. And then look up here. There's a stork nest up there, you can see the stork. That was a pretty long feeling walk, even though it didn't take any longer than my pace typically is. My right foot just really is just not feeling so great. It's nothing dangerous. It's not harming my foot. I just have to get this blister healed, which tomorrow I plan to do as little as possible to hopefully assist with that. I'm going to rest here for a little bit, give my feet some time to air out, and then I'm gonna go search for lunch. I am really in the mood for pizza. So that is what I'm going to search for is pizza. We'll see how it goes, but I'm really looking forward to a day off tomorrow. But it really was a good day. Just would be helpful if every other step didn't hurt. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's how the Camino goes sometimes. This place is recommended in my guidebook and it's right around the corner from my hotel, so I'm gonna try it out. So I decided on a menu del dia instead of pizza. I'll have pizza for supper maybe, but I got my tinto de verano. Macarones, which I love in Spain. This whole plate is just my first course. I don't know how I'm gonna eat my second course. But we're leaving the shop. Next is beef cheeks and potatoes. Smells really good. And finally, chocolate almond tort. That was so good. The macaronis were just okay, but they were good. The beef cheeks, I have never had beef cheeks before. That was going outside my comfort zone a bit and they were so good. I would order that again for sure. And then the dessert was good too. I think I said earlier it was chocolate and almond. It's chocolate and hazelnut. Really good. 20 euros for all that food I think is a pretty good deal. All right, walk around a little bit and then probably rest most of the evening. I think I deserve it.